you know obviously a lot of people you know suffer from anxiety and crap smoke and just one more thing I'll be doing an update on my videos in regards to my anxiety and depression guys I have not taken any tablets now for about two months and honestly I am feeling on top of the world you know I'm not gonna deny I have been feeling a little bit anxious at times especially like I said just previously about all the videos I've been making about the local Aboriginal people it kind of really um, hurts you know I can feel the tension when I talk to certain people in my town the looks and obviously just by me making those videos guys it just goes to prove how racist many Australian people are and many people all around the world are they just don't want to hear other people's stories should be ashamed of themselves I can guarantee you that they should be ashamed of themselves and I'm not going to deny guys as much as I've been really really friendly with these Aboriginal people in my town for all my life there's been many times in my life where they piss me off and I have called them nasty names and not to their faces I've been a coward too scared to say anything to their faces yeah right I'll tell them off you know I'll call them a bloody bludger or something like that if they owe me money or something like that but you know it just goes to show that racism exists in every single town in Australia every single rural country town guys because there are places in these towns like mine where even now Aboriginal people are not allowed to enter the premises and I promise you that guys they are not allowed to enter the premises. If they enter, they get kicked out, literally. And I promise you that, guys. It is disgusting and shameful. Even if they wanted to go somewhere and buy a packet of cigarettes, they're not allowed to buy a packet of cigarettes. It's shameful. So please, guys, think about it. And these videos aren't dedicated to the Australian, my Australian viewers. These are dedicated to overseas people around the world. And what you see here in my hometown, guys, and all the other towns around rural Western Australia is nothing compared to what you'll see up in the beautiful northern regions of Australia, such as the Kimberleys in far northwestern Australia, the Northern Territory in Darwin, far north Queensland, northern New South Wales, northern Victoria, and even northern South Australia, and obviously, like I just said, northern Western Australia, the Pilbara, the Kilt Kimberley. Because if you ever come to Australia, guys, and see these poor Aboriginal people sitting on the streets, getting drunk every, every day underneath trees, fighting, killing each other, because they've got no, no pride or dignity left in themselves. They've got nothing else to do. All of their unemployment money and stuff goes on alcohol. And basically, the Australian government does not give the slightest shit about Aboriginal people. All they are interested in is making billions and billions of money from gold mining, iron ore mining, royalties and everything else. You know, and like I said before, I'm just a tiny, tiny cog in the wheel of motion of life. What I say is nothing, guys, but hopefully one day, maybe in another 50 years, people look back on the videos I make and they will see who the real Billy Sherman was how much I loved my town <laughs> most of the people in my town you know the Aboriginal people in, in my area it is shameful so please guys if you do your research enter good, uh, Aboriginal people drinking Northern Territory or, or Australia drunk and you'll see what I mean. It is a disgrace, guys. Not only that, so are the living conditions of Aboriginal people. See ya. You're not staying there, right? What do you think she's up to?
could you really rely on her? Excuse me, what about my change? And the abo barman says... Go on, it's only a joke. Discrimination leads to depression and anxiety in Indigenous Australians. No one should be made to feel like crap, just for being who they are. <laughs>